My number one exam preparation tip, okay, two. A, get plenty of sleep. Don't stay up late. B, start reviewing your binder now, okay? Exams, what they're gonna do is they're asking you to demonstrate what we learned. Everything we learned, you should have evidence of it in your binder. So start sorting through your binder, get rid of your stuff, and as you're sorting it through and reading through it, you're gonna get that feeling of familiarity, and it's gonna build your confidence with what's coming. Tell me when we're live. We're live. <laughs> okay. uh, my exam prep tip is for you to spread your studying out over five or six days for one exam and study for only about 25 minutes at a time for that exam on each day. Um, the research on that indicates that you will retain it better and you'll also be able to recall it better during the exam. So no cramming, no 10 hour study sessions the day before, spread it out. It'll lessen your stress and it'll actually make you perform better. My advice, study smart, not hard, right? If you have, you only have so many hours in a day, don't waste your time studying stuff that you know. Obviously review it, but maybe spend more of your time focusing on the stuff that you don't know instead of the stuff that you definitely know you know already. So make sure you eat a good breakfast or lunch before coming to your exam. You don't want to be hungry. And then bring water with you so you don't get thirsty as well. concepts now that you've struggled with through the year or anything that you are unsure of because your teachers are available the next two weeks and happy to help you with any concepts you have struggled with. And as I always say, you'll be fine. So with exam week coming up, the one thing that I think you should remember is confidence. We have taken you to a place where we're giving you something that is your last chance to show what you can do in the course. And we believe you can do it, so we want you to be confident to approach it that way. And if there's something you're not confident about, make sure you find out before you get in that moment so your confidence isn't rattled because that will keep you calm, cool, and collected and help you be successful. Hey guys, I have a great exam writing tip. Uh, I recommend looking at your notes and rewriting them, and also using all of the practice exams that I gave you. Hey guys, so I have an exam writing tip for you all. Read the questions carefully on your exam, and make sure you're timing the each section so that you complete your exam on time. Good luck! So exam writing tip, I would say, is if you're doing a multiple choice question or a longer answer, the first thing, the first answer you pick or the first thing you put down is 90% of the time the correct one. Don't second guess yourself, don't overthink it. You know the information, go with what you put down. Hey guys, one healthy tip for uh, preparing for writing an exam is always study in the same position that you're going to be writing the test in, meaning don't lay down while you're studying because your body and your nervous system gets used to that position and doesn't remember as well. Alright, exam writing tips for you. Exam preparation, you are going to want to decide how much time you're studying for everything. So make a schedule, say two hour prep for this exam, one and a half hour prep for that exam. Put it into your schedule, decide how long, and make a plan and do it. That's my tip. Sometimes we learn really well when we can hear things over and over and over again. So we have cell phones and there is this little app called Voice Memo. And if you open it up, you can record all of your questions on um, the app and give yourself a little bit of space to maybe say the answer out loud or to think the answer um, and then record yourself saying the answer and then go back and listen to that over and over and over again. If you are somebody that has your license, you can listen to it in the car or you can listen to it while you're eating or what have you. But 
um, that auditory piece of listening to your answers over and over and over again will help to solidify the information. Hi everybody, hope you're doing well. Here's a couple of little tips for you for exam week. Um, make sure when you're going through to study that you are actually studying what you know will be on the exam. So your teachers will be spending a lot of time going through the content of what you should be studying. So you want to be spending time doing that. And then in terms of self-care, give yourself a goal and a break. So study for maybe like an hour and then go and do something you want to do for you. So whether that's like play with the dog, go for a walk, bake some cookies, something like that. Just kind of break things up and then go back to your studying again. Studying right through, as we know, probably isn't the best option because it's just too much. So give yourself a break in between and then you should be good to go. Okay, good luck on exams. Hi there, my exam tip is uh, when you're writing an exam and a question stumps you, don't spend a lot of time on it. Put a big star beside it and leave it out and then come back to it. Often when you're writing, another question will either have the information you need or twig something in your memory to help you remember the answer or how to do that question. So don't get stuck on one question, leave it out, but make sure you put a star beside it so you remember to come, come back to it. And check over your exam before you hand it in, making sure you have attempted every single question. Good luck. Uh, I have a tip for you guys when you are studying for your exams. Um, if you guys find that you are feeling overwhelmed um, while you're studying for your exams, what's best to do is to shut your book, <laughs> get up, take a deep breath, go for a walk um, indoors or outdoors, just take a break for yourself. Um, make sure you set a timer to remind yourself to go back to studying. But it's always good to give yourself a break, allow yourself to step away from the books for a little bit, and then come back refreshed. Um, the ways in which we learn and remember things, uh, you have to make sure you include many modalities. So think about your senses. Um, think about the ways um, in which you will remember things the best. So it could include uh, reading the material, uh, writing it out, reading it out loud, recording it, maybe listening to it in the car. So try and hit all of your senses. Um, so studying in a variety of ways is helpful. strategy is being prepared the night before. When you wake up in the morning, it's super important that you feel calm, confident, relaxed, you know exactly what you're doing. So with that, the night before, I would always make sure that I had all my supplies ready. So I'd get my pencils, my pens, my highlighters, you know, my whiteout, whatever I needed, my exam notes, ready. I would also prepare my, my water, my snacks, um, and I even lay out my outfit. Okay, so my outfit would be ready. I'd go with more of like a, you know, a sporty kind of runner's hoodie kind of feel. Um, so that when I woke up in the morning, all my stuff was ready to go. And all I had to do was grab it and wake up feeling confident, knowing exactly where I was going and what I was doing. Hello, you beautiful people. The number one thing I can say to help all of us do well through exam period is to remember to trust yourself. You know what you need to do, and you've been here all semester. There might be a few things that you're not sure you will remember, and that's where you put your time studying, but please, please trust yourself. You know what you need to figure out. When you get closer to the exam time, I know it's tempting to stay up late studying, but you've heard this a million times because it's super true, sleep drink water, set your body up for success. A good sleep is way more helpful than staying up late cramming. And when you get to the day of the exam, if there are some things that you're worried you might forget, use your resources, grab some scrap paper, make some notes for yourself when you begin the exam to help you organize your thoughts. You will be okay. It's just a test. It does not define you. But if you set yourself up well, you'll do great. My 
great study or wellness strategy is 20 minutes of studying and then get up and do something. Uh, whether it be go for a walk or mix in some working out. But um, I remember when I was in university, I had a prof that said 20 minutes is about all you can manage before you have to get up and move. Hope you do well. Good luck. Um, <laughs> it's not the end of the world. It'll be okay.